Good morning, everyone. Hey, Welcome everybody. to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noelle McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. That was Asaph Adonai on piano. Asaph, what song was that? That is the theme to the Joy Luck Club. Nice. Club, the film. Cool. cool. So it's an intro for a movie. Mm -hmm. Very cool. <laughs> I'm having problems with the microphone. Okay. I just didn't want to be the microphone in front of Asaph's face. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's Wednesday. I hope that you guys all have had a good week so yeah. far. Middle it's of the week. It's been an interesting week for it sure. Has. It's, the, uh, it's our summer camp week. Uh, mm -hmm. Noelle has her um, MCAT um, summer camp shirt on. I had mine on Represent. Monday. Um, yeah. Nice yes. little MCAT uh, lights, camera, action, summer camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. It's glad, I'm glad that we have shirts. We're like officially a camp now. Because shirts really make things official. It does. I know we make the yeah. kids walk in billboards. It's like, yes. oh, that's a cool shirt. And like one of the kids is like, it breathes really well. Yeah. I was like, great, <laughs> good. Wear it all the time, please. <laughs> but Keep of course, uh, the, uh, today we're going to go to Raptors of the Rockies. So mm -hmm. the, today is the big field trip day. Um, and we're going to be uh, dealing with some, let's check out what, what kind of weather we're going to be dealing with today. Sure. So it currently, apparently it is 70 degrees out, which I don't think that's correct. I don't I think just it is either. I opened it. That but this is like the most accurate at the point. So, but of course, um, the according to the forecast today, the high is going to be 79 degrees. Uh, it's going to be mostly clear um, tonight. Um, uh, Thursday, you can expect a high of 79 again. It's pretty typically uh, the same trends. But of course, by Thursday night, Friday, you can expect some of those thunderstorms and showers to start coming in. And of course, this is kind of like the prelude to any kind of fires that may or may not be starting because of yeah. all the thunder and lightning that'll be striking and all that stuff. But luckily for us. Thursday, Friday will mostly be a lot of our indoor stuff in mm -hmm. which uh, we'll be editing all the videos that we filmed it's in the true. last uh, couple days. But yeah. of course, um, if you want to find more information, you can log out into uh, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. <laughs> <laughs> you can like us on our Facebook page. I was just going to tell the uh, the uh, the weather. Um, Oh. Nationalweatherservice.org. And then I was going to lead into this. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is our Facebook page. This is our Twitter page, at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter page, at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information about us, just go to MCAT.org. Yep. And of course, uh, the other day we went to uh, Bancroft Park, and I and I did shoot a little, uh, little short little video. Um, there's not much in terms of new programming happening tonight and tomorrow night. Just a lot of um, programming that's happened. But of course, um, every Thursday is ASAF's own show, ASAF mm -hmm. Cafe. So I suggest you guys check that out. It's usually on five five thirty mm -hmm. on every Thursday, and he's pretty much caught up for. Uh, 15 weeks. <laughs> yeah, ASAP's way ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you if you want to watch it there, you can watch it on his um, YouTube um, channel. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, it's just my name, ASAP Adonai. Yep. Great. Great. And um, without further ado, I do want to show you this video. We did show this at our live cut-in um, yesterday, Tuesday, at 4.45, and we're going to have another cut-in tomorrow at 4.45. And I wish I could have shown you guys a little taste of what some of the kids were doing, and they were talking about the awkwardness of their very first live cut-in, just to kind of get it um, used to it, and then by Friday they'll be experts and be able to do their own little live show for the parents with all the videos that they've made this week. Yep. But here is a little bit of uh, what I... Oh, with uh, what I did in the last like 20-15 minutes we did at the Bancroft Park. So without further ado, here is a random video, funny, whatever thing. <laughs> Joe, silent but deadly. That was an oh, okay. You have fried chicken. Fried you got troll. I got flippy. Well, my raffle copter goes. 
I got an anus. Okay. All right, so there was a little taste of what we did at Bancroft Park. Just a little bit of fun. Um, nothing. The, the rest of us filmed the ducks and birds, and we also got chased by some geese. It was very eventful. A lot of That's fun. That's what you get for filming uh, wildlife too long. Yeah, it's we true. we got all the wildlife that we needed for our video. And then they took off, but we stayed after to get some special effects and scenes. Oh. Well, you guys should with those little tube things. There's like it looks yeah, like there's little really leaks. Fun. They're great. And, and then like if you peel off the grass, it looks like giant packing peanuts on the inside. I had a great time. Me and the girls had a great time doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but we uh, got chased by some geese. But unfortunately, because, you know, our girls don't really know exactly uh, that if you want to catch something on camera, you have to really point the camera at it. Yep. So instead of catching us, the geese chasing us, we just cut the ground and us screaming. So there's no real evidence, but it happened. <laughs> it was very eventful. It was fun. Well, there were a bunch of them. And they're pretty big. Geese yeah, are. they're big. They were like coming up after us, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, okay, let's let's like back up." How far did you have go. to run away? Not very far. You just had to like. It just... I just like slowly backed up and then turned around and walked away. I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna be slow about this because I don't want to run because I don't want them to chase me." Yeah, smart, you guys. Mm. That's what you do. But of course, uh, that's pretty much it for my little segment, just kind of like uh, giving you an update what's going on with MCAT stuff and MCAT camps. But we do still have a camp available. It's our second animation camp happening on July 18th through the 23rd, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that's a little five-day camp, one to five, and there's still open spots available for kids who want to do some stop animation, animation type things here at MCAT. Yeah. And we do one every, we, we did Saturday drop-ins for animation, um, and we're we, 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 we're not doing it during the summer, but we'll start it back up in um, uh, September after Labor Day. And But of course, I do have a video I want to show. Of course, I'll be showing this video in up, leading up until July 4th, which is a PSA which uh, honors our vets by just being a little more aware of some of the loud fireworks that are out there and for some veterans who have PTSD. So without further ado, here's a little PSA, and when we come back, we'll have uh, your events for your Wednesday. This is Dan Gallagher, Vietnam veteran. You know, veterans enjoy the 4th of July festivities as much as anyone, maybe even more, since the day celebrates the freedoms they help defend. You know, the fireworks we use to celebrate our freedoms on the 4th of July are some of the same sounds that remind the veterans who fought for those freedoms of the wars they thought they'd left behind, whether just last week or 50 years ago. So enjoy your fireworks, but be courteous when using them around others, especially veterans. It's just one way to honor our nation's defenders, and believe me, our veterans would definitely appreciate that. Hi, you guys. We are back, and we've got some events going on for your Wednesday. Okay, so... Starting at 9.30 over at Ms. Moon Gymnastics is their family fun time. It's an open gym, open gym for ages walking to 12 years of age. Um, it's $7 per kid if you're a member, $10 if you're a non-member. That's still pretty cheap. Over at the Public Library, they've got open hours in their makerspace starting at 10. So from 10 to 6 today, you can work on a project of your choice or use their equipment and learn how to use their equipment. How fun. Then over at E3 Convergence Gallery, there's an open studio with Bobby Almer. So Bobby Almer will be there painting all day, and you can drop by and paint, or else you can bring um, your craft project and work on that, or do whatever you want. It's an open studio for artists. That's pretty awesome. Over at Spectrum Discovery Area, the Discovery Bench is Optics, the Brain Lab are Neurons. It's $3.50 for anyone four and over, and if you're under three, you get in for free, and it starts at 11. They also have Science Sprouts, which is for the younger crowd. It's for ages 2 to 5. That also starts at 11. And their theme for today is Let's Build. Sweet. Out to Lunch is in Karis Park today, starting at 11 a.m. And the band is Ed Norton Big Band. Oh, yeah. that's a good band. They're super fun. I'm going to miss out on that. Yes, we are. <laughs> uh, over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got their beanbag toss that starts at 11. And then back over at the Missoula Public Library at 12.30 is their Excel class. So from 12.30 to 1.30, you can learn how to use the Excel program. Just call 721-2665. And then over at uh, Big Sky High School, they've got Movies and Making that starts at 1 p.m. And so they feature screenings of family-friendly films followed by craft activity in their library. Cool. 
Uh, and then also over at the Missoula Public Library at 2 p.m. they've got an afternoon matinee. It is usually a uh, it's usually a classic and recent or a recent feature. Yeah. Uh, the library always has wonderful events going on as well as middle school writers. It starts at 3:30. It's a writing group for grades six through nine to give and get good feedback, play with words, and eat some chocolate. Over at the Top Hat Lounge, they've got Sharon in the Groove. They're celebrating the music of Fish. That starts at 4.30. It's got audio show, trivia, happy hour, all things related to Fish. And then over at Missoula Urban Demonstration Project at MUD, um, over at their site, they have a creative container gardening workshop that starts at 5.30. $20 for MUD members, $40 for non-members. Bob Ross Night is over at the Zootown Arts Community Center at 6 p.m. Uh, you can follow along with a video, paint happy trees, and drink some wine, and maybe bring some Bob, War Bob Ross wigs. Uh, over at the Dickinson, Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center is a CPR class for uh, CPR on adult, child, and infant. Or the CPR uh, enthusiast. Yeah, <laughs> weird. <laughs> Starts at 6.30. Uh, yeah, and so you can call 549-8765 for more info on that. And we've got some events for this evening. We have Country Dance Lessons with Kathy Clark at 7 at the Sunrise Saloon. is $5 per lesson. Uh, and then over at Bonner Park in their band shell, the Missoula City Band Summer Concert Series starts. It starts at 8 p.m. And so this tonight they've got the Air Force Academy Band in concert. Cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, karaoke contest is at the Eagles at 8.30. Karaoke is at the Badlander at 9. Uh, Milk Crate Wednesday at the Palace at 9. Karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon at 9. Um, and then the Sweet Lilies and Love is a Dog from Nebraska, which are bands, will be playing at Stage 112 at 9 o'clock. That show is 18 plus and it's uh, $5. And so that's what I've got going on for you. All right, I have, a, I, I just thought of a nice little funny joke or a tagline so people know how to go to the CPR classes. Dickens CPR class. When that special someone takes your breath away, have CPR, put the breath back in. Nice. That was a good, Scott. <laughs> nice, nice. He's been thinking about that the whole time. I was. I really wanted to say that. <laughs> well, that was hilarious. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> but now we're going to switch oh, wait, gears. Oh, uh, wait. CPR, Dickinson. Let us be the wind between your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> You're too many puns. You're so creative. But without further ado, um... Musical notes with ASAP out and I. Our guest on today's musical notes hit her stride playing Ilana Troyes in the 1968 third season of Star Trek. And she also is best known for playing Auntie Ying, Li Ying, Ying St. Clair in the 1993 film The Joy Love Club. Our guest is Franz Wen Naja, known to the world as Franz Wen. And let's start out with that video clip first, if we got that there. <laughs> you can see she's a little feisty little thing, isn't she? She really is. Well, anyway, um, there she is again. She's just ticked. This is a scene where she plays this princess that is very spoiled. And so they have to take her to the Trojan planet. Look at that look. <laughs> so let's go back to the plain pictures. Anyway, she plays this spoiled princess. They take her to this planet to marry a Trojan president so that they can have a peace treaty in that quadrant of space. And this woman is very um, agile in her acting. So anyway, that was her on the Star Trek. And here's some pictures of her as a young woman. Basically, she was discovered by, um, in 1955, she was working as a seamstress and she was discovered by Philippe Hausman and they put her on the cover of Life Magazine. That's how she got started. You can see how lovely she was at that point in her life. This is way before she got into Star Trek. And um, her first acting job was in the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical South Pacific. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not. And she also played in the theatrical version of the world of Susie Wong opposite William Shatner in those early years. So those are some humble beginnings. 
She's appeared in movies like The Battle for the Planet of the Apes in 1973. <laughs> and of course, The Joy Luck Club in 1993. She also appeared in an episode in 1978 of Columbo, the episode called Murder Under, Gla Under Glass. And this is disturbing here. See this, um, when she was older, this is her in The Joy Luck Club. Basically her character, she marries a guy, Lin Zhao in China, and he abuses her after they get married and abandons her for an opera singer because they did the wild thing before they got married and had a baby, so she felt her husband took her innocence from her. Mm -hmm. So she drowns the baby in the tub to get back at her husband as her way of getting back for him taking her innocence. It's, it's just quite an in-depth film if you ever get a chance to see it or your audience gets to see it. Mm -hmm. And then finally, um, there she is again on the transporter room. Now, and this is interesting here. In 1986, she got a master's degree in clinical psychology and she began a second career after her Star Trek years and this movie here. So she, got, she, got, she began a second career, clinical counselor for abused women and children and for women in prison. She received the Woman of the Year Award in 1989 for her psychology work, her psychological work. And as I stated, she was on the cover of Life magazine. She also was married to actor Robert Culp from I Spy, the actor that played with Bill Cosby. They were married in real life. So to sum this up, she's just had a diverse role of characters over the years. And now she spends her time helping women. And I think that's... That's pretty cool, but she'll always be remembered probably for playing Alana Troyes on Star Trek. And I'll stop right there. Nice. Thank you very much, Asa. Sure. That was Musical Notes with Asa Fatter Night. Yes, and we have an art clip. And of course, I I've been showing this art clip all week. And because it ends the end of this week, you get a chance, go to the Mizzou Art Museum, and go check out Floodplains, the nice little art installation happening at the Mizzou Art Museum. We come back, we'll have Thursday events, and we have Hallmark or Beaumark. Woo! Oh, I can't, I can't contain myself. Ah! Hurry, change, PSA. <laughs> guys we are back and this is what's going on in your community on oh okay sorry getting lost over here <laughs> okay this is what's going on on Thursday for tomorrow okay tomorrow the 23rd right today's 22nd okay so is uh starting at 9 a.m. over at homeward they've got their financial fitness class it's all day from 9 a.m. to 6 you can get into financial shape, uh, set goals for spending and saving, manage debt, and learn other money management skills. To register, go to www.homeward.org. Or you can call, uh, let's say, 532-4663. Uh, over the Providence Center, they've got their NAMI Missoula weekly meeting starting at 10 a.m. It's a free weekly meeting for anyone affected by mental illness or interested in learning about NAMI Missoula. Uh, over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they're making homemade wind chimes starting at 11. That'd nice. be fun. Also at 11 at Spectrum Discovery Area, their discovery bench is electricity and magnets, and the Brain Lab is glowing cells. 
at the Missoula Public Library, they've got their kids' table, their daily kids' table. So this is for ages 18 and under to come by and get a free snack or free lunch and then also uh, create an art activity after. And then over at NAMI Missoula, which is located on Brook Street, they've got their Connection Support Group that starts at 1.30. It's a free weekly support group for adults living with mental illness. Then over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got Family Movies at 2 p.m. And then at 3 in their makerspace is uh, Computer Electronics. You can go in there and work on a project of your choice or learn how to use their electronic platforms. Uh, and then over at the Missoula Butter Butterfly House, they are learning about um, different moths and butterfly. They're asking the question, is it a moth or is it a butterfly? It starts at 3 p.m. It's a moth. Yeah. So they'll be taking a look at the key anatomical differences in the order of uh, these animals. <laughs> <laughs> they look different. They look different. How come? You'll figure that out. They just are. <laughs> Don't ask <laughs> questions. <laughs> New question. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Over the Missoula Public Library at 3.30 is Lego Club. Um, and then we've got a couple wine tastings. Over at uh, Ten Spoon Vineyard and Wineries, or Double Punch Thursday, it starts at 4. Ah! While I'm drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> you get punched You twice. can punch me all you want while I drink wine. As long as it's free wine. Okay. Oh. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's pretty that's bad. Not good. Sorry, that's everyone. Like <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> but anyway, they you, they have like you get two stamps on your glass pour punch card on Thursdays. Pretty yes. awesome. Um, and then over at La Grata Bella, underneath the Old Post Pub, they've got a downtown drop-in wine tasting. It's a minimum of four wines in a different theme each week. And the word on the street is that it's no longer ten dollars; it's twelve fifty. What? I know. The extra two fifty must be for the um, um, anti pasta. Yeah, the anti pasta, the venue. Uh, over at Karis Park, they have got Downtown Tonight. Black Mountain Moan is going to be playing. Um, and they, the event is sponsored by Missoula in Motion, and they've got activity, children's activities and food carts. Yeah. It's the beer one. The beer one is the best one. <laughs> uh, and then over at Thomas Marbar, they've got uh, Reverend Slanky is going to be playing at Missoula's Boaters Bash. So Missoula's Boaters Bash is like this, it's like a second annual, this is only their second year, of people just like celebrating all things boating and rafting and kayaking. Um, and, I, I, and I'm pretty sure that this is the second time Thomas Marbar has ever had a live band in their facility. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't remember any other band. Because yeah. I remember you did the event not too long ago, and you mentioned one other Thomas Marbar band, which was like the very first one, and mm -hmm. we made a whole big deal of it. And now we're making a whole big deal of yeah. the second band They're ever. They're doing to play another there. one. And so this is for the Missoula Butters Bash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I've been there. I, I just don't know where they put it. Uh, that's what I was thinking, is I don't know where they put it. Maybe out front. Maybe they're going to do like some yeah. out front thing. I guess, like, if you want to, this would probably be, like, maybe, like, the third band that I know of that came through there because I was following uh, the Tuba Santas when they uh, oh, yeah. harassed a bunch of people with t um, Santa music from tubas. That's great. And it's only a harassment because it's a tuba. I bet that was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. but also, uh, we totally forgot about tonight. Tonight is the premiere of the City Band concert. I said that. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't make a big deal of it, apparently. I should make more of a big deal of it. I, I should have got Gary it. on the show. He you, never likes to show up in the morning. Scott, you weren't even listening. No. I totally talked about it. It's the Air totally. Force Academy band. Oh. Too bad we're going to miss it. It is. Yeah. I know. It is too bad we're going to miss it. I always play in the band, too, every year as well. Um, I know. I just play less and less because all these summer camps just wipe me out. For sure, dude. Yeah. Me, too. And I'm just like already like, I'm done with this. I'm just going to go home and lay down. Yeah, chill out. I know. Decompress. Mm -hmm. But let's uh Let's get back to up. events. Yeah. I'm almost done, you guys. Okay, so <laughs> Reverend Slanky at Missoula, Missoula's Boater Bash, uh, hosted by Thomas Marbar at the Thomas Marbar at 6. There's a planetarium show at 6.30 at the University of Montana. Um, Double Down Band will be at the Sunrise Saloon at 8. Totally 80s Summer over at the Roxy Theater. They're playing Weird Science at 8 o'clock. Uh, at the Eagles Lodge is open mic at 8.30. Open mic at the Broadway at 9. Dead Hepster at the Bad Liner at 9. Karaoke at the Dark Horse at 9. And Ted Ness and the Rusty Nails are playing the Top Hat Lounge at 10 o'clock. As always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website. Um, let's see, the newspaper and the independent for your events. Yeah. But we've got everyone's favorite segment. Um, it's Wednesday, as you guys know. So... Are you guys ready to play Hallmark or... Bill Mark? Yes! <laughs> I still don't think you mentioned the city band the other night. 
Oh, well, anyways. Uh, I let's... literally <laughs> talked about it. Oh, yeah. You no. didn't even listen to me, uh, Scott. I'm, I'm offended. I'm sorry. What was that? No. I listened to you. And I was in the middle of lonely teardrops on that one. Okay. <laughs> Thank mind. you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you very much, Asa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just hear all the voices and as I sort of go mad. <laughs> What's going on? Where are these voices coming from? Because the, the camera's been Scott. on me the whole time while you're talking to me. I'm Scott. just like, who am I talking to? That happens all the time when I do my events. <laughs> so I was like, whose voice is that? It's mine. All right, yeah, let's play. Ready. Are you guys ready to play? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I've been ready for years. I, I'm ready. I swear. Uh, so I read the synopsis. Ready? I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original <laughs> movie, or do I? And you guys at home and here have to determine whether or not it's Hallmark. Or Bullmark. There's no <laughs> in between. It's black or white. Oh, oh, yeah. good. Yeah. It's no gray. It's like area. that Michael Jackson. Actually, song. there was a gray it area one time. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> yeah. Remember right, that anyway. time you did a. Wait, play? are we? Okay, let's do Hallmark Bullmark. <laughs> <laughs> we only have an hour in the. <laughs> it's true. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Mick has always enjoyed bringing happiness to couples on their wedding day through his music. One day, he is booked to play for a high-powered executive whose fiance hits more to home than Mick thought. Olivia is the bride-to-be, but for Mick, 20 years ago, they thought they had lost each other. Oh, man. Will Olivia be able to go through the wedding, or will she take a risk on the one that got away? And the movie's called The Wedding March. Huh. Is this a Hallmark original movie, or is this complete bullark? Um, Bullmark. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree. You guys are wrong. It's a Hallmark original movie. Oh, no! Oh, we got stopped that time. Yep. (laughs) Bum, bum, (laughs) bum. All right, let's play the next round. Hopefully you guys can redeem yourself just before the uh, beginning of the day. All right, so Uh let's let's have this last Hallmark (laughs) or Bullmark, and then we'll do some more social networking, and then we'll end the show. Hopefully. Oh great! Oh, is that how Unless it's gonna go, Scott? Unless we're just gonna Scott? argue or stuff. Scott, is that we how it's gonna? We can argue some more if you want to. Is that how care. it's gonna go, Scott? I don't know. Scott? We can just argue. And I'll how try. come I don't get to say on how it's gonna go? And how because you're you not on it? camera. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? All right, hit it. Um, <laughs> ow! 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 Okay. When Jess McLean is laid off from her law firm. She must head home, but little does everybody know, Jess has kept her unemployment a secret. Oh, man. When home, Jess will discover that family is more important than work. But when her family's farm is flooded by the new sewer, city sewer main, <laughs> Jess must find a way to save her home before everybody finds out that she does not represent a law firm. <laughs> and the movie's called Laws of Nature. <laughs> Is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete bullmark? I'm gonna doubt you today, say bullmark. I am too. I'm gonna do that. Wow, again. you guys just hate me today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you your your hate is um, your victory. Is your guys' victory on this one? So you, this is a bullmark <laughs> movie. <laughs> this is not real. This is uh, uh, something I completely made up on the spot. <laughs> she must find a way to save her home before everyone finds out that she does not represent a law firm. <laughs> <laughs> that last line was really funny. Oh, I make up like I re, like even if I get the synopsis from the Hallmark movie, I rewrite it in my own words. Yeah, yeah. just so it throws you guys off, so you have to look for it. You do a good job. Okay, so 50-50. we won well, and you won. Ready for Michael Jackson, we got it there, right? No, well. we both win. <laughs> yeah, that means all parties win in this. If you're black or white, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tyra Banks is in that music video for five seconds. <laughs> Tyra Banks. <laughs> you remember? Okay, yeah. yeah that's where it launched her career. It was like that like yeah, two I second snippet where she like was like there, but then she turned into some Irish woman. Oh, weird. Yeah, I remember that. I'd forgotten all about or that. So, yeah, it's such a, it, it, it was one of the more expensive ones, too. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson is more known to... More um, expensive Irish women? No, or well, the music, the music video. Videos. Oh. Yeah, well, well like, gotta, Michael Jackson is known to be the most expensive uh, music video artist of all time. Well, when you got a zillion, zillion dollars like Michael Jackson or Liberace, you can do those kind of extravagant... Uh, <laughs> I don't think Liberace ever did a music video. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, but Liberace, his house was like gold. Pretty yeah. much. You know what Phyllis Diller said about him? They had a skit about Liberace where 
she was sitting in his living room and she wiped some dust off the piano and said, gold dust. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's exactly it. Liberace's house was like in gold. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, I think we should end the show. Okay. So um, okay. here is a little taste of what you guys can um, find out more information about Wake Up Missoula by logging on to our Wix page, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. Sometimes we made you write it out to us. I swore it changed the thumbnail, but it's just no all scratching her face. Right? Is that terrible? I was like, God, uh, th And the other one was more scratching, and then the other one was uh, just just like uh, a video, just part of a video clip. So bad. Yeah, but um, here is our Facebook page, and here is our Twitter page, at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter page, at MCAT TV in Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information, check us out at MCAT.org. Yes, and MCAT does a lot of stuff in the community, so if you guys uh, want to be on our show to talk about a, an event that's coming up, or you want us to shoot an event for you, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. You can also email us, MCAT at MCAT.org. There's a bunch of great forms on our website, MCAT.org, where you can fill out and get us out there filming your guys' lecture, rally, cause, event, parade, whatever. Uh, whatever you want. That's crazy. But yeah. uh, we gotta we, we gotta get going. We're going to K, uh, Raptors of the Rockies today with our kids, and uh, take it away, um, ASAP. And for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. I'm Noel McFoy. Here's ASAP Adonai, and we'll see you guys Friday. <laughs>